lucky worm's eye view of Shirley Freeman, attractive 20-year-old Bristol typist holidaying at Western Supermare. And good morning to you, Miss Freeman. Good morning, Mr. Brewster. Thirty-six, twenty-two, thirty-six. Welcome back to the treadmill. Hello, Rita. How was it? Oh, not bad. Didn't get much sun, though. <whistles> What's the matter with you, then? Oh. I can't say you haven't been welcomed. I think you've never seen me before. Oh, he's never had a worm's eye view before. <laughs> That far, Ed. Well, I won't. Where's this kind of thing finish up? Well, nobody else thought it was. Don't you tell me what people thought. I know what I thought at the office all day. Snickers, dirty remarks. Did he dig a hole in the sand or were you up on something? Go to your room, Elaine. This isn't suitable for your ears. You always look on the black side of things, Ed. Because I know this world, that's why. I know the filthy things that go on. It's just a picture, Dad. Just a picture. Just a picture. That's how it all starts. Dirty pictures, girls showing everything they've got. Oh, Ed. Well, I'm not having it in my family. I'm not having this kind of thing in my house. Do you understand that clearly? Yes. Do you? Yes, I do. You in tonight, dear? Yes. Harry's calling for me. Oh, you'll be lucky after what you've been up to. Go and get ready, dear. You know how he hates being kept waiting. How's he going to feel about it, eh? His fiancée exhibiting herself like a couple well, of... Well, if anyone would think I'd post in the news! Don't you talk like that in my house! Oh, All right, then. You know something about it, you bring them up. What about your dinner, Ed? It must be terrific fun posing for pictures. The milkman thought it was fabulous. Fancy you being a pinner. Sure. Your lovely little drawings. That's just what they are. Little and ordinary. And very, very happy. And that's Harry. I'll answer it, will you? All right. I'll be down in a minute. Cheer up, Shell. I think it's all lovely. Mm. Fabulous. Miss Freeman? I'm Miss Freeman. Oh. I can see I'll be coming back here for years. Is your sister in? Oh, uh, well, I'll, I'll find out. It's all right, Elaine. I bought you a set of Walter's photographs. Oh, the pictures. Elaine, come and have your supper. Oh, Mum. Is that you, Harry, dear? Uh, no, Mum, this is Mr. Mackenzie, Don. How do you do, Mrs. Freeman? We met at Weston. I see. Mr. Mackenzie works on the press. <laughs> oh, did you take that picture of Shirley? Well, I can hardly take that. Uh, but... No, Mr. Mackenzie's a writer. Um, shall we go upstairs for a minute? Oh, thank you. If you'll excuse me for a minute. <laughs> Harry won't be long, dear. You will be ready, won't you? Yes, Mum, I'll be ready. Did he take the picture? Go and finish your He's supper. He's very attractive, isn't Elaine. he? Elaine. Oh, there's no conversation in this place. So this is the happy little house. Hmm. And this is the real you. He's good, isn't he, Walter? Sentimental. Hmm? Respectable. Immature. Thank you. I'm secretly ambitious. Your blue period? Oh, thank you for these. Am I dismissed? Well, I am expecting someone. Oh, not the someone. Will you thank Walter for me? Yeah. I want you to really study these pictures, Shirley. What do you mean? Well, they bring out things about you. Not just that you're lovely, anyone can see that, but, well... Well, what? Go on, tell me, I'm interested. So I hide in the cupboard? <laughs> Look, Shirley. I've got to answer that door. All right, but no dates for next Sunday. Why next Sunday? You're going to be holiday camp queen at Butlins. You're joking. Who jokes about 50 pounds? Even the runners up I am up not it. going through all that again. Ah, but this is different, Shirley. This is professional. I thought 
thought Joe would answer it. That's all right. Is she ready? I expect so. She'll be down in a minute. I'll go up. Uh, no, she'll be down. Come and talk to me. I think you'd better go out by the back. That's the first romantic thing you've ever said to me. Oh, shut up. I'm working late tonight. Come round to the office after you've ditched the happy fiancé. I have no intention of ditching anything. Late as you like. We'll talk about what your photographs reveal. Hmm? The truth about Shirley Freeman. Shirley? Coming, Mum! Oh, there you are, dear. Harry's been waiting. I'm sorry, Harry. Am I late? Seven minutes. It's all right, though. Oh, dear. Well, off you go, children. Have a good time. You've got two whole weeks to make up for, haven't you? I parked the car down at the ostrich. Thought we'd have a quick one first. Why not? We haven't been there for two weeks, have we? Then we might eat at the brasserie. Ah, yes. The good old brasserie. Mm. You're looking well. I feel fine. Do much swimming? Off and on. Did you think it was degenerate? What? Are you ashamed of me? I don't know what you're talking about. Did they snicker at your office? You're in a very strange mood tonight, I must say. Harry, I want you to say something for once. What on earth about? Well, that picture, don't just pretend it didn't happen. That's exactly what I proposed to him. You really disapprove, don't you? You're really shocked. Of course not. Why should I be shocked over a silly little exhibitionist prank? Exactly. You quite like me being an exhibitionist as long as the audience is limited to you. I'm perfectly prepared to overlook the whole stupid business. Well, I'm not. I posed and I enjoyed it. I'm sure it's very flattering. I loved everybody recognizing me today. You wouldn't understand that, of course. I prefer to keep my private life private. I am not yet your private life. Oh, she was honest. Wait a minute, isn't oh, Harry boy? Where is she, Harry? Oh, Harry? Where's our little Shirley going? Hey, homage, Ben, to the Bristol Bell. Ring a ding, oh. Shirley. <laughs> she was only an accountant's fiance, but oh, how a bigger balance. 36, 22, 36. 36, 36 22, 36. 36, 22, 36. 36, 22, 36. 36, 22, 36. Better hurry up with our drink. The brasserie stops serving at 9.30. I don't want to go in there, Harry. Well, let's go straight to the brasserie. I don't want to go to the brasserie either. I don't want to go there ever again. Really, Shirley? You're being absolutely impossible I'm sorry tonight. I'm being a bore. It's not that. But you are going on a bit. I've stopped. I'm going off now. Shirley, for goodness sake. Shirley! <laughs> <laughs> 